We're in Morro Bay, out at Giovanni's Fish Market and Galley. Giovanni, give us a history of uh, your restaurant. Yeah, so I'm second generation here in Morro Bay. Um, business was started by my family. We've actually had a uh, fish business here in Morro Bay since 1973. Uh, wow. And I was able to purchase the business from my family a little over 10 years ago. And it's just in my blood. It's all I've ever known and all I've ever done. And Works out okay. It, you know, I assume here in Morro Bay, I mean, right on the water, yeah. is the fish coming out of the ocean, coming right to your restaurant here, or are you purchasing from other parts of California? We're able to unload the fish right off the boats, bring it in the back door, fillet it out, and get it right to the customer. So that's what makes it so special. We don't have to go through a broker or somebody else, or it doesn't have to go, you know, on a truck somewhere. It literally comes out of the ocean and onto the customer's plate. So Giovanni, what are you guys known for? First and foremost, our fish market. Nice, fresh, off-the-boat seafood. Um, second to be the items in our kitchen menu, our fish and chips and our clam chowder. People line up for hours every weekend just to get a bite of it. So it's pretty exciting. People love it, and it just kind of goes with the whole theme of being you know, on the bay with the otters, the rock, the beautiful background. You know, It doesn't get any more seafood than fish and chips and chowder. I got to tell you, man, you have one of the most unique backdrops for a restaurant I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, super iconic, the Moro Rock for, you know, it represents the California coast better than anything else, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, what do we have out here? What, what's, uh, what are these up here? Right, so here's where we keep our live Dungeness crabs. Um, oh, they're live here, Yeah, huh? customers will come here and they'll get to pick out the oh, crab they wow. want. So reach in and Dude, grab you just one. reach in? Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. okay. Hold up? <laughs> uh, I'm good, I'm good. Um, uh, is it safe to say you've been snapped at quite a few times? Yeah, you get pinched only once and then you figure it out. Uh, they can break <laughs> a finger, so it's not, not anything to mess with. But, uh, wow. you know, one of our, again, one of our local things that we get, and that's the beauty of Moore Bay, is that we get so much variety. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get halibut, we get sea bass, we get um, salmon during the, the summer and spring. Uh, we get uh, fresh calamari, we get squid, we get Dungeness crab, black cod, rock cod, petrolli sole, local trap caught spot prawns. We have <laughs> Two oyster farms. I mean, that's what makes it so cool wow. here. It makes it fun to be in the fish business in Morro Bay. Sure, sure. What about uh, over here? This, yes, so this steaming pot right here. This is where we steam the crabs. Watch yourself to okay. steam. But oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and people are like, what's in there? Clam chowder. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where we, we throw the Bring crabs. Up your bowls. Bring and, up your cups. Come right, on. Right. So. Wow, OK. Anyway, that's pretty excited. But you want to go inside and check yeah. out some of the fish? I'm following you, man. All right, cool. We'll see you, man. How many different types of options do you have? You know, right here in our case, we've got about 30 or 40 different options from seafood salad to you know, fresh wild salmon uh, in, in, in a lot of our house smoked uh, fish, including like our uh, salmon candy and our shark jerky, which are really popular items. Wait, salmon candy? Yeah, yeah, they used to call it squaw candy. So the Indians would um, dry it and, and soak it in sugar and salt, and they would dry it over, you know, like cedar fire. And it was just a, a treat that they would do. It was kind of like candy for, for the Indians. Is there any way to try some? Absolutely. Of Stephanie, can we try a little bit of the salmon candy? Salmon candy? Yeah, it's, you'll notice it have a nice little sweetness to it and a little bit of uh, kind of a teriyaki flavor, but the brown sugar really comes through and works well with the salmon. So you guys actually make it here? We make it in-house. All of our smoke products are done here in-house. We got a big commercial smoker out back. No kidding. Okay, cool. Trying, so I'm, I'm, wow, that's a good sized piece right there. Yeah. Mmm. It has a little bit of a sweetness to yeah, it. Yeah, that's from the brown sugar. We get a kind of a brown sugar glaze, and and uh, people just really love it. I, I mean, so it's, that's why it's called salmon candy. Yeah, it tastes a lot like, like beef jerky with a little bit of a... Yeah, and then we do a shark soup. jerky as well. I think we're out of that today, but that's with a little more black pepper, a little more heat. What was the first time you were actually here? Well, the first time I was in the fish market, pretty cool story. So. Um, my dad was a fisherman, commercial abalone diver, actually, for 17 years. Um, and my mom ran the first fish market we had here in Moore Bay, 1973, called the Finicky Fish, little building down the street. So my dad comes in one day from fishing, sees a sign on the door that says, gone to have a baby, be back tomorrow. He hauls it to San Luis Obispo, just in time to cut the cord. True story, the next day I'm in a wooden fish box with blankets in the back of the fish market. So I've no. literally been in the fish market since I was one day old. What is your favorite item here in the fish market? I mean, what's your go-to? That's a tough, I've got a couple. I can't just pick one. No, 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 just one. Just, no, go ahead. No, I, um, I think the local white sea bass, which is fresh and local right now, if I had one fish to live off the rest of my life, hands down, white sea bass. So in addition to the fish market and what you have, what people can order up at the, the window out yeah. front, you actually have a, like a restaurant type in the back, right? Yeah, I mean, we have our kitchen um, and it's pretty much all takeout. So they order in line, but then we've got this big patio out here where you can sit out there and yeah. kind of open air, sit at the tables with your family. So it's very family friendly. It's not uh, stuffy or pretentious here. It's very family oriented. What do we 
have right here, Giovanni? Um, it looks like we got some shrimp tacos. With so, cheese in it. Yeah, yeah, this was kind of a custom order, but you know, most of our tacos come with cheese, but these are just cheese only. We got shrimp tacos. We're gonna have some nachos coming up here. Um, oh my God. We do all kinds of stuff. We do halibut tacos, salmon tacos, fish tacos, fried tacos, grilled tacos. We do tostadas with halibut. Uh, this is California, after all, and of course, you have to throw some avocado on top because this is where we are, California. It's really well known for our burgers, so. Really? What, what type of burger? Like, what would you say is like the burger people are coming for? Uh, usually it's just like a bacon cheeseburger or a cheeseburger, but if you're feeling like uh, a little bit um, creative, we've got the mean and meaty. So that's meat. a hamburger with a Philly cheesesteak and bacon and cheese, and it's about a pound. All the salsas are homemade in-house. We do a salsa verde that we make from scratch. We roast all the tomatoes for our red salsa. We make the guacamole from scratch. So that's the secret. So it seems fast food, but we have emphasis on quality. The size of your fish and chips are... We're also known for Dude, our that's ridiculous. Pan. So man. we have the, probably the biggest fish and chips in town. Um, you know, it's a half a pound. We do it by weight. So we don't oh, skimp, man. you know I mean? This is a beautiful uh, fish and chips right here. That's our fish tacos right there. Quick, you're not kidding. You have to. When, usually there's paper all the way across, and then this one's got like 10 hanging on it. Whoa. You've got to be fast, otherwise people are going to be upset. So not only you got to be good, you got to be fast. So And it's really hard to find. You can find good, and you can find fast. But finding fast and good, hard. It smells good, man. Yeah, yeah. It smells good. You want to take a bite? This is a, yeah, I do want to take a bite, actually. It smells so good. Back in, I don't know. Here's I don't, the tricky part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you eat it, right? What the heck, man? He made a blend together that looks like one giant. Yeah, I'll hold it. Why don't you grab one out of there? Just fish in there and figure right. out where one starts and what. There you go. Just do, fish in there. There's we no go. pretty way to do this. Ah. Woo. And maybe put a little bit of the salsa on there. If you like. Well, he poured a little bit on top, but. Oh, man. I mean, fresh ingredients. Oh, man. That hot, crispy cod in there, a little bit of cheese. I'm making it messy, but. Wow. It's okay. Wow. That's okay. That's how eating should be, right? Do you have customers that are coming, you know, decades in a row? Oh, multi-generation. Um, all the time we have people, oh, I, you know, I have a picture of me sitting out front with a giant clam shell, you know, because there's, we got these big Philippine clam shells, and when you sit in front of it, it looks like you're an angel. It looks like you have wings. <laughs> and uh, I get adults all the time, oh, my parents brought me here when I was a little kid. I remember taking a picture, and... You know, I mean, we've been around 30 plus years just in this location, like I said, but we've been in Mora Bay since 1973, so.